All right, I just ran some uh, some beads in here with my Forney welder. I can't get down in here, so I'm gonna have to want, uh, take it somewhere that has a uh, stick welder and see how much they'll charge me to weld uh, the top and the sides and the bottoms. But uh, anyway, of course that's the ATI. That's that's well, like I said earlier, that's what came today, and that's the ATI bracket that I finally mounted. I need some more grease. I ran out of grease. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. See why I went this route. Now you see why I went this route. And to undo it, all you do is no pins or anything. Just come here, pull, pull. That's why I went this route. So now, again, all I gotta do is get the bottom, tops, and sides welded. I gotta take it to a, a shop to do that, see how much they charge. If they charge me uh, too much money, I'm gonna just go to Harbor Freight and buy a stick welder. Do it myself. I grew up stick welding, by the way. So stick welding is nothing new to me. Uh, so now, I could go on Craigslist, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and pick me up some skid stair quick attach attachments. See if I could find me a stump bucket, uh, a set of forks, although I don't really need the forks because I got the clamp-ons, but if I could find an inexpensive used set of skid stair quick attach uh, pallet forks, I'm gonna run with those. Again, the stump bucket. Uh, I was looking at a grapple, and now I could get a used grapple. I don't have to get the Yanmar grapple. So I actually went to the Yanmar, the dealer that I, the Yanmar dealer that I used, and he quoted me the uh, the cost of the third function, both the Yanmar and the uh, another local company. That's a, tr a true third function. The Yanmar one uses a button that it uses a diverter valve. But the other company is a true third function with a, a rocker switch that opens and closes the grapple. And that one's actually cheaper than the Yanmar on third function. So that might be the route I go. And if I get it, of course, I'm going to show how to mount it from start to finish. But uh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. See, it doesn't stick out too far 
from the pin. As a matter of fact, I'll measure it right now for you. Well, I'll measure it if my dog got it. Did I lock it? I think I locked it. Yeah. I like the locked doors. All right. <clears throat> the tack room is a mess, so bear with me. I promised you this measurement. I said I was going to measure it. This one, from the surface to the pin, is about, shoot, it's six and a half inches. Yep, six and a half inches, almost exact, six and a half inches. All right, so let's go and check the stock end mark. I'm sure this is gonna beat six and a half inches. <laughs> what did I say? At its farthest point, four. Actually, how do I say? At its farthest point to the center of the pin, we're looking at. Yep, four and a half inches. So the Yanmar one wins, which I knew it was going to. On weight and on uh distance from the from the pin so this one is two inches more it's probably this right here well actually it is that right there to be honest with you watch i bet that's it i should know that it's two and a half so this is some of it is not all of it But uh, we're good. So again, this is part two. I hope this video helped someone. If you have any questions uh, about where I got the the items from, the parts from, uh, you know what? I'm I try to put a link in the description of this video. But any questions, ask them in the comment section.